ready to do this. We are gonna do a surgery procedure thing to disimpact my bowels. <sighs> I'm just like so frustrated. everyone last night was not ideal I didn't sleep all that well because I was dealing with various symptoms my abdomen became more distended as the night went on so there was pain waking me up and then I was dealing with flushing and rashes on and off from my mast cell I really think that the contrast I'm slightly allergic to it because prior to that we had a great handle on my mast cell and it didn't escalate into a huge reaction we were able to control it with some medications but still it was just not a comfortable night and unfortunately that test didn't even do what we hoped it would have done for me you know the contrast was supposed to lubricate all of the impacted stool in my system so I could poop it out over the next several hours and that didn't happen. I went to the bathroom and voided like the contrast but no bowel movements and <sighs> so the next step is now this afternoon my surgeon is taking me down to the OR she's going to sedate me and she is going to try to disimpact me. I'm not exactly sure how but I'm pretty sure it involves more things going up my butt but I will be sedated. So right now I am NPO, which means nothing by mouth because I will be getting anesthesia later today. And I just found out I have a test to do this morning. I didn't know about it. And given the testing I had done yesterday, I am a bit apprehensive, but we shall see what this test entails. torture chamber that's dramatic but that is where I had the most uncomfortable test of my life thus far but I conquered it and I'm just waiting for the tech to grab me for whatever they said it was an x-ray I really hope my surgeon just needs like a simple x-ray of my abdomen to see the impaction if it has changed or not just to get a better idea of what she's working with but we shall see. I'm just, like, they knocked on my door and said, you have another test today. And after going through the ordeal yesterday, I was just <sighs> apprehensive, I think is the word, but got this. Okay, so one of the technicians from yesterday's examination, the study, came to see how I was doing. It was the girl who held my hands the whole time. She was really sweet. And then the tech called me in for this x-ray and it was in this room next door. So I guess it's like difficult room, easy room, but whatever. It was super easy. They just took pictures of my abdomen um, to get an updated picture of the impaction. It only lasted like two minutes and when the tech was taking me into the room I asked him do I have to drink anything or is anything going up my butt? And he just looked at me and I said listen if you know what I went through yesterday you wouldn't be questioning why I'm asking that question but uh, it was fine. Now I'm just uh, waiting for transport to take me back up to my room. Her name's Ellie. Ellie? Mm -hmm. What? Back to the room. I gotta 
hooked back up to the telly. This is the unit that kind of just monitors my heart because my POTS has not been very well controlled. Lots of, you know, like palpitations, skip beats, and uh, tachycardia. So keeping an extra eye on me and just My abdomen is really starting to hurt, so I am going to relax and put the heating pad on my tummy and maybe take a nap. Look who is here now. I slept for a while. Did you sleep, babe? Kind of. Kind of. I am hurting and there's no Harlow with us, um, because, why didn't you mean it's just easier with the procedure I have going on, um, so she's chilling at home. But I wanted to show y'all my belly so we can do like a before and after comparison. I really hope this works. There's too many things connected to me. Smaller than it was yesterday. Yeah, it was soft. Maybe the gastrograph did help a little bit. But yeah. The pain is still there. I mean, sometimes it's smaller, sometimes it's bigger. I am fasting though for this surgery. So, so it does look a little bit less distended. Maybe because of the test yesterday or because I have to fast for the procedure, um, it's not so much time for me to go, but uh, sometimes it looks better than other times, I don't know, I'm just going to be thankful for whenever it's not as bad, even though the pain is still pretty bad. And uh, now we just wait for transport to come and get me. I'm still not sure how she's going to disimpact me. What do you think, babe? Mm -hmm. She's gonna like cut me open and just... Probably. Uh, I think it's more stuff going up my butt, but at least I'll be asleep. Or maybe... Alright, I need to stop talking. I'm <laughs> tired and hurting and don't feel well. I just... I really hope that this works because we've tried so many things and it's been like three weeks of just me being distended and in a lot of pain and just uncomfortable and I'm really ready for some relief and ready to go home so I know my medical team is working hard for me but I'm just I'm ready. Joe was telling me he misses me at home. Yeah, it's been a while since you've been home. I know. And I miss, I miss you too. I miss like my life out of this hospital. So. Here's the life outside. <sighs> what is it like out there? Part of the crew. Have people changed? It's hot. Better than it was three weeks ago. <laughs> oh my gosh. I wonder if anyone's gonna get that quote you just said. Part of the ship, part of the crew. Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm just gonna like. They're not gonna get it now. If you told them. Well, I don't want them to <laughs> sit there like, who is it? I'd want to know, because I'd be one of those people who wouldn't get it, and I'd want to know. Anyways, you know, movie for the... I'm gonna like meld into the bed or like the wall or something. All right. Anyways. For the dice game, wager how many days you have left. <laughs> no. I just want to go. Right. Made it down to pre-op. I am ready to do this. We are gonna do a surgery procedure thing to disimpact my bowels. I got a joke. You ready? Mm. I'm so full of shit. I need surgery for, for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're ready. Ta-da! I did it. And I'm still feeling a bit groggy. They did use ketamine for my sedation because as y'all may or may not know, I don't react well to propofol, which is more common. So we used ketamine and 
Did I wake up Loopy this time? Yes. Oh. Give me a hug. Thank you so much for being amazing. Awkward. <laughs> You're far away. Awkward <laughs> hug. Sit for yourself. Oh, I'm groggy. We'll hug later. But... I guess I woke up a bit loopy. But you weren't, you weren't crazy loud. I wasn't crazy loud though because they gave me Versed as I woke up and that helps to counteract the loopy effect, which I prefer. So the combo of Versed and Ketamine works well for me and I did not wake up, up, wake up on the table, which is ideal. My surgeon, well, she didn't talk to me because I was still asleep, but what did she tell you, babe? So uh, her doctor advised that she doesn't think she got a whole lot out. And she also thinks she's still pretty impacted and it's not in her large bowel but in her small bowel and the plan initially was my small to, intestine that's where my feeding tube is was to try and push something through her feeding tube to see what would basically come out the other end if they could try and flush it out that way kind of like running a snake down a toilet um but that didn't happen because the OR team was nervous that even though her tube is not connected to her stomach, it's, uh, excuse me, uh, if they push something through there, she could possibly fixate on it, seeing how she didn't have an actual, I don't know the correct term, tube down her throat to help her breathe. She was breathing on her own. Yeah, so. they had a special apparatus on my face that helped keep my windpipe open, but it didn't go all the way into my lungs. Um because I have a history of waking up during procedures and if it happened, I'd be able to move and say, hey, put me back under. Um, so, I stayed under the whole time though. Yeah, what our surgeon thinks is they're gonna change up her uh, pain management schedule um, to something a little bit less impactful on her, on her intestines. And IV and Tylenol, stuff. right? Yeah, yeah. That. there's such thing as IV Tylenol, which doesn't infect, infect, <laughs> not okay. infect, which doesn't affect your intestines it won't slow down motility and it can be pretty potent and help with pain so we're gonna try and get me on that and we shall see how things progress the doctors but i trust them they're gonna talk you won't be able to tell how distended you are until you're able to stand up so okay well then we'll, then we'll take a good Okay, yeah, have to take a good look at it. I don't feel like I can stand up right now. I'm still groggy, but <laughs> later we'll uh, we'll we'll look. But we will keep y'all updated. Is it different from before? No, not same. really. The same. I am actually pretty bummed out that my surgeon said she didn't get as much as she had hoped, but um, I'm pretty bummed. I don't know. It seems like nothing's working, but. We will find a solution eventually, and tomorrow is a new day. Today was a long day, so we're we're going to bed early. Well, it's pretty late, so after I got settled into bed back in my own clothes, um, Judd went home. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm fine. I'm just so frustrated because everything we've tried is not working we've tried like natural things like flaxseed we've tried medications and we've tried colonoscopy preps nothing we've done enemas different types of enemas like the study yesterday with the extreme clean out enema that didn't work and um my surgeon went in today and uh, she didn't have to cut me anywhere, but she like really thoroughly, aggressively irrigated as much as she could my digestive system and just, I guess it helped, but she could not get rid of all of it or like as much impacted stool she wanted and I'm still considered impacted and... <sighs> I'm just like so frustrated. I really want to go home. And I sat here with a judge just 
talking to him about my frustrations and crying and letting it out and having my emotional moment, which was therapeutic. I needed it. It's just, my stomach is so distended. It is so painful. Moving around is painful and I've been like this for weeks and everything we've done hasn't worked, you know. I put an entire colonoscopy prep through my J tube. It didn't work. And, you know, I did this enema yesterday, which was supposed to work and it didn't. And now my surgeon said she did not get as much as she had hoped she would be able to get out. And just, I know there's probably a next step it's just that my doctors haven't quite explained it to me. I am like trying to get up and walk and move more because the more you move, the more your bowels move or, you know, get activated. And I'm just, just gonna try and get a good night's sleep. <laughs> that was ironic. Okay, I don't really sleep well in the hospital just cause, you know, I'm not feeling well. <laughs> I'm hurting and there's all these weird noises, but anyways. <laughs> I'm gonna try and get a good night's sleep and um, I'm gonna try, try to stop crying. I'm just, I'm sure so many of y'all can relate to me in this situation right now, but I'm gonna make the best of it. I'm gonna keep moving forward and you know, even in this difficult time, I have so many things to be thankful for. You know, all the support rallying around me, my dad and my aunt, brought Judd and I dinner and I don't even remember my aunt or my dad being here. Apparently I talked to them as I was coming out of anesthesia. I just don't remember. If you're wondering where my mom is, she's in North Carolina with my eldest aunt, her sister, because she has cancer and she's helping her with that, but she will be back um, before the summer ends and I talk to my mom every day. It was so hard for her to leave me because I'm in the hospital, but I told her like, mom, you gotta go. But. Um, I've got so much support from friends and family and from y'all and you know what if you're struggling and you're stuck in the hospital my family sends you love and support especially ellie <sighs> but now it's time to go to sleep today was a big day and tomorrow is a new day to keep moving forward so with that i will say good night and thanks for joining us on our adventure